It's the Mongolians. Goddamn Mongolians. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Just walk it off, bro. Just walk it off. That's right. Just walk it off. It's cool. We're fine. Sir, this is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, that um, voice is like 30 years younger than that body. Was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? Did he make it inside the castle? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Also, no one in that time period lived to be that old. Someone would have shanked him by now, just saying. People got shanked all the time back in the day. <laughs> Nobody makes it that long. <laughs> okay. Talk to Sir Robard. All right, I probably don't want to discover your bed. Oh, okay. So is this like my new place for a little bit? Um. Nothing terribly ah. urgent, sir. Just a reminder from your cousin that he'll come in a month. Ah, oh, I see. Well, remind me the week before he arrives, so I'll have time oh, to prepare God, properly it, my for my hurts. Of course, sir. Be a bit more careful. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get the leaving. hell out of here. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. All right, let's take a look at our map real quick. Oh, we're back. Okay, there's the inventory. Where's, where's my map? There we go. All right, quest right now is to talk to Sir Robard. What is that in the bottom right there? It's like an exclamation point with a yellow circle. I wonder what that means. I'm running around outside, see if there's anything we can pick up. Mm. Looks pretty clear. Okay. Set back in and find this dude. Ooh, anything over here? Oh, this is like the gate system. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ooh. I'm in a private area. That's too bad. <clears throat> oh, damn it, I'm hungry. 
<laughs> oh, lockpick. I don't want to mess with that. Well, looks like we're going to be an archer. Mm -hmm. I'm one of them halberds, man. That weapon looks pretty slick. Dunk. Lock picking very easy. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, old guy. What is Sorry. It? I was I was just checking your place out. Nothing to see here. I'm just chilling, you know. Just being a bro, not stealing anything. <clears throat> is there a third person view? I don't think so, actually. I don't think there's a third person view. Could be wrong, but I haven't I haven't seen one yet. I have to eat something. My insides are shriveled up with the All right, hunger. I should be able to find how did you manage that? From what I understand, every city has a place we can eat. I said that in an earlier thing. Oh, yeah, wrong scene. Thanks. Shame. And I call myself a professional. God. I'm the worst. Uh, am I playing with a controller? I am playing with a controller, because the combat is a little bit angled towards controllers. Um, I guess we'll just talk to him. Maybe he'll give us some food. What's up, buddy? You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Okay. I, I heard about your father. Hmm. My insides are shriveled up with the why hunger. I his talents, but I'm sure he had his reason. Go with Sir Robard to the kitchen. Fine reputation. Okay. It's a great loss. Sir Divish has suffered his own share of wounds. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he My must lady. be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you. Oh, I like lady. you. <clears throat> we'll get along just fine. When you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Man, these guys are being super great to us. My lord. This could have been bad. You learned kitchens. It's not wise to ignore hunger. The longer Henry doesn't eat, the weaker he gets. If he fasts long enough, he can even die. Different foods have different properties. An apple won't fill you up but a ro like a roast duck, but it will stay fresh for longer. Some foods can be more effective for healing. Hmm. You're that lad from Scullets. What in heaven's name happened there? Uh, is that me getting super tired? Can I eat this soup? Is this soup for me to eat right here? Seems I'm not good enough for the gent. I think I can eat out of the bowl, can't I? Yeah, eat from pot. There we go. Great. Oh, can I eat again? No, that only got half my hunger down, too. Well, shoot. Um, hmm. I'm just going to take all the food in the kitchen. I am. Yes, I am. Rob. No, don't rob, please. Um, don't want to lockpick quite yet. Oh, this is all stealing, so let's not steal right now. This, however, is not stealing, because it's just pickup. Alright, let's eat some of this roast duck and see how that is. Okay, up is map, so down is inventory. There we go. Okay, uh, let's go to the 
Ew. Man, look at all those stats. Ooh. Uh, let's go to food. Where's my roast duck? Probably doesn't have long, right? 26 nourishment, freshness at 100%. Um, two day durability. Oh, interesting. Okay. Eat. Where's my nourishment? 51. Now 77. Now 103. Oh, I'm being a fatty. Okay, I got, I got the pig thing. So you don't want more than 100 nourishment. Mm. You've eaten too much, you won't get hungry for much longer, but you'll be heavy-handed and clumsy until you digest everything. Okay. Interesting. The opposite to hunger is overeating. Stuffing yourself like a pig has the advantage that you won't need to eat for longer, but a full belly will slow you down like with hunger, your stamina, and like with hunger, your stamina will regenerate more slowly. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Co-eats, all up in her. Sweet, delicious co-eats. Uh, can I pick up these gloves? No. Okay, it also looks like we need rest. So let's go ahead and do that now. Can I get these torches? No. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing that's because we're so tired. I don't think that's the over... Well, who are you? Can't talk to you. If you're tired, your stamina and eloquence will also gradually decrease. Sleep is the solution. Find available bed, which you'll recognize from the icon on the compass. Sit on it and launch sleep with A, and set how long you want to sleep for. Okay. Whoa. I am, like, falling over here. All right, sleep, but for how long? I have no idea. Uh. Oh, interesting. Okay, I see. Yeah, we'll sleep until we'll sleep ten hours till morning. <gasps> oh God, I didn't take my boots off. Today the patrols will be doubled. <sighs> what have I Keep done? Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. Oh, they're still on. Oh. God, I guess I was born in a barn. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Oh, God, what is this? My lady, uh, um... No, no, not at all. Uh-oh. But what brings you here at this hour? Uh-oh. I thought you could do with a little wine. Uh-oh. It's just <laughs> what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a sermon. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Uh-oh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you kindly. <laughs> you're welcome. Now, Henry. Oh, God. I know this is all very new and trouble. strange for you. This is trouble. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. This woman's being super cool to us, man. Wow. The, this whole this whole group is being super cool to us. Uh Oh, now this is interesting. Now is is there any reason we shouldn't tell her? 
Um, I don't think so. I, I, I can't think of a reason we wouldn't want to tell her. It's not like it's a secret that our town got burned down, right? I'm going to tell her. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. Oh, God. I met my friends right next to the Scallet's Ale House. What am I doing? When we heard Deutsch praising Sigismund, our blood boiled. My mates decided to teach that fool to mind his tongue. So, thanks to us, Deutsch had to scrape horse shit off his newly whitewashed house. How foul. I know, I agree. When I'd done all the errands, <laughs> I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Father and I always chat in the forge. On that particular day, I asked him if he'd teach me swordsmanship. He said no. He said it's better for a man to keep his head on his shoulders than lose it over some pointless heroism. If only you'd known what fate had in store for us. Oh. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. I saw smoke on the horizon from a village Sigismund pillaged on the way to our town. This is a crazy, to the weird God have dialogue mercy. system. And then death descended on Scalitz. I almost feel like I'm playing personas and like checking for weaknesses. This is kind of nuts. I saw Deutsch trying to defend himself. The man who'd mocked King Wenceslas as a drunkard and praised Sigismund now stood facing his soldiers with nothing but a pitchfork, trying to protect his wife and son. It was hopeless. He slaughtered them all. That's so sad. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I no longer heard any sounds of battle coming from the castle, so Sigismund's army must have regrouped and started to. I can only imagine what impact no these different choices you're right. have. We have reached a new a level in main level? Awesome! It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Was I supposed like to kill a valiant them? valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. Oof. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by oh, greed, broken. envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. I was young when I married my husband. It was my uh -oh. father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king. 
and sought help from divisious friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Havel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Ooh. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly, only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Worked out better than expected, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Still never took our shoes off. No, take your sh oh, Again. Again. Boots still on, bad ending. We just got the we just got the worst ending right there. That's the indicator. Oh dude, look at this. Oh, nightmares. Move there, people! Come on! Come on! We're running out of time! Wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Uh-oh. All right, dude. Azrael Star. Thank you very much, buddy. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Okay. So it looks like it's night. Oh, take a torch. If you need light at night, use a torch by holding this. But if you want to keep your left hand free, to example, freeze a shield, it's better to drink Nighthawk Potion for better night vision. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't think they were going to do stuff like that in this game. Okay. I'm, I'm totally down with that. Hmm... Man, the torch looks great. Jeez. Ugh. Uh, okay. No, there's no magic of any kind in this game. Nope, it's supposed it's based there's a lot of historical accuracy in this game. In fact, a lot of the places you see in this game you can actually visit in uh in real life. There we go. You go to the bathroom to talk to Captain Robard. Can we go in here? I just found a bow laying around earlier. You know, I can put it to use if you need me to. Just saying. Oh, whoops. Keep bad, your man. old wives' tales to yourself. Anyway, 
you think Sigismund wouldn't catch up with us in the forest? Here, at least, we have a chance to defend ourselves. The well is deep, and we've got decent stocks of food. See, his lip syncing is on Sigismund's point. Sigismund's hired himself a mob of foreign mercenaries. They don't know this country like we do. We could hide out somewhere until it blows over. Same Maybe. for him. Only all they have to do is lean on some scarlet surf and he'll happily tell them everything. I, yeah, dude. Some of, some of the lip syncing is like 100% awesome. And then some of it is just like, what language are you speaking? Very strange. I should have some skill points. Um, I've, dude, I haven't even looked at the skill system. What, 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 what is that here? Conspicuousness? That's interesting. Combat? Skills? Look at all this. Um, I, do you even get skill points in this game? I thought you just earned skill points. Although it did specifically say something about traits earlier and assigning trait points and things like that, so. Oh! Oh, oh, maybe, maybe this is it, right here. Level is derived from your stats and your progress through the game. With every second level you reach, you can select one perk that will allow you to make your character more specialized. Oh, so I have first aid, which enables me to use bandages. So I can get aesthetic. You last 30% longer without food. When dirty, you have 50% more charisma when talking to women. Manly odor. However, people, use, people will smell you a mile off, reducing your stealth by 30%. Your stamina regenerates 20% faster at night. Slightly increases the sight distance of fast travel. Oh, okay. I have no idea what that means. Um, comfort of beds is inverted to you. The worse the bed, the better you sleep. And then these I can't get. Oh, oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, shit. What's the max level we need? Minimum level's 12 for contemplative. Interesting. Man, this is... This is interesting. Okay. Alright, we'll have to keep an eye on this. I'm, I'm sure there's more perks than that, and I don't think 12 is the max level, so... Um... Oh my god! Each one of these has this? Oh, holy shit. Um, okay. Wow. Wow. Uh... Jeez. So, how do we get this stuff? Do we just get it to that level? Oh, no, no. We have to We have to learn it. Carrying dead or unconscious bodies won't cost you any stamina. Blocking an opponent's blows will cost you... Oh, that seems good. Well, we'll look at those later. I don't, I don't want to do this quite yet. Because um, I'm actually really wondering what's happening here. I'm in a private area. Oh, this is the door we opened earlier. Whoops. Hey, What's up, guys? You men down there. Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, do you understand? Oh, shit, are we doing this? 